please rise. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Geneva. I'm Mallory Grant. And I'm Jacob Miller. Mal, it was a very busy weekend in Washington, D.C. And for the Geneva Vikings, Jacob, coming up, we tell you all about the big events that happened this past weekend. We also have a guest in studio today with a very sweet treat for a very sweet cause. And we have some non-alternative facts about baking cakes. You don't want to miss this one, Jacob. Wait, Mal, when does GTV start? Does, is it a week? I it's, think it's coming up. Guys, 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 it starts right now. Right, right now. now. Welcome back, Geneva. Here are your morning announcements from Monday, January 23rd, 2017. The Cultural Awareness Club meets every first and third Tuesday of each month to talk about race, ethnicity, and culture. If you're interested, make sure that you go to room B124 right after school this Tuesday, so that's tomorrow. See Mr. Whitman if you have any questions. Hola, senors and senoritas. Spanish Club will be meeting tomorrow right after school in room J248. The club will have a variety of board games, all in Spanish. They'll also be talking about the Pulsera Project, a nonprofit organization in Nicaragua. Attention all juniors! You have a college night open for you and your parents tomorrow from 6.30 to 8.30 p.m. in the GHS Auditorium. There will be college representatives from U of I, NIU, Augustana, and Wabanzi. They will also be able to answer any questions and provide information for the college search and admissions process. This is the perfect opportunity to learn about college from the experts, so juniors, don't miss out. Attention all members of Star Club, there will be a meeting tomorrow, Tuesday the 24th, at 7.10 a.m. AM and 3 p.m. in room EE191. Don't forget that new members are always welcome. And Jacob, my sweet tooth has been craving a good chocolate bar lately. Well, lucky for you, we have a guest in studio with GTV reporter Skylar Zimney, who will help you out with that. Skylar? Thanks, guys. I'm here with Joe Ratliff. And Joe, what are you selling? I will be selling World's Finest Chocolate Bars. And what are you selling it for? Uh, I'm selling it, them for a nonprofit organization called the Marfan Foundation, dedicated to helping people with Marfan Syndrome. What exactly is Marfan Syndrome? Marfan Syndrome is a rare genetic disorder that, can, that has varying effects, uh, the most common of which are heart and blood related. Alrighty, and how much is a chocolate? A chocolate bar is one dollar each. And what would you say is your favorite flavor? Uh, I can't choose a favorite flavor. I would say mine has to be caramel. <laughs> so guys, if you see Joe, make sure to stop him and buy some chocolate and back to the desk. Thanks, Skylar. Jacob, do you think they have a peanut one? That sounds so good right now. Well, for my sakes, I hope not. I'm allergic. But make sure you find Joe for a sweet afternoon snack. Mal, those chocolate bars look really good, and I didn't eat breakfast this morning, so I'm getting very hungry. Well, lucky for you, Jacob. I hit up the sweetest spot in town and got some pointers on how to curb your appetite. Take a look. Hey guys, thanks. I'm here at the Sugar Path with the lead pastry director, Mackenzie. Now, can you tell me what we're doing today? Yes, so today we're going to be um, decorating cake. So I have a uh, blueberry buttermilk cake here that we're going to be um, leveling and filling and then we are going to be decorating it with our rose design cake. Awesome! Let's get started! Okay, so what we're going to do is fill our cake with our vanilla buttercream. So we're going to take some of this, we just take a good scoop, put it in the center, and then we take in our asset spatula. And um, the easiest way to kind of spread out your cake is to start in the center and just push your frost, your frosting back and forth. Now, do you guys make all of your frostings in-house? We do. So we make all of our buttercreams in-house okay. and all of our cake layers as well. So pretty much everything is made in our kitchen. What I'm doing is starting from the bottom and you just make what we call a rosette. So it looks like a rose. Okay. So, I'm gonna see. <laughs> so you start in the center. 
can go around and back over to where we started at. Wow, <laughs> that was easier than I thought. Oh my goodness. That's it. So that's our rose cake. That looks so great. <laughs> Thank you so much. So guys, make sure you check out the Sugar Path Downtown Geneva. I'm so excited. This looks so good. It smells amazing in here. Well, if I wasn't hungry before, I sure am now. I'm definitely going to Sugar Path after school today. Now for some news outside the halls. Last Saturday, over one million people gathered in Washington, D.C. and all around the world for the Women's Parade. Over 500,000 people gathered in D.C., making it one of the largest demonstrations the, dis the district has ever seen. The those, gathered for those gathered for the parade were supporting women's rights along with civil rights as issues concerning these rights have arised since the election of President Trump. A series of domestic flights from United Airlines were grounded Saturday and Sunday night. United spokeswoman Maddie King told CNN the flights were grounded due to an IT issue and would work as fast as possible to resolve said issue. United Airlines announced via Twitter that the ground stop had been lifted as of Sunday evening. However, the stops are still causing delays for commuters this morning. The AFC and NFC conference champions were yesterday. The Atlanta Falcons beat the Green Bay Packers 44 to 21 and the New England Patriots beat the Spielberg beat the Pittsburgh Steelers 36 to 17. The Falcons will face the Patriots in Super Bowl 51. The game will be held on February 5th. Congratulations to the girls varsity dance team this past Saturday. They danced their way to a first place in sectionals. They will be competing for a state title this weekend, so make sure to wish them congratulations and good luck. Boys basketball was on fire this weekend. They crushed Streamwood on Friday and on Saturday. They beat St. Charles East, and they currently hold 22 wins and zero losses this season. Good job, boys. And attention, boys lacrosse players. There is a boys lacrosse parent meeting tonight in room EE184 at 7 p.m. Parents will get information about the upcoming season and meet the coach. Please make sure that your parents are in attendance. And now here's three to know before we go. Congrats to Claire Ginsburg placing first place this past weekend at their invite. There is a girls basketball game tomorrow night at seven o'clock. And so sorry that we had technical difficulties earlier. There will be a Star Club meeting tomorrow, Tuesday the 24th at 7, 10 a.m. and 3 p.m. in room EE 191. Well, that's all the news we have for you today, Geneva. I'm Jacob Miller. And I'm Mallory Grant. Have a marvelous Monday, Geneva. Woo! I wanted to throw these, but you know. <laughs> <laughs>